We are standing here in front of the SESANS, the Spineco Small Angle Neutron Scattering Instrument. And with this instrument, we can measure the structure of the bulk of materials on the length scales of something like a micrometer, a thousandth of a millimeter. And interesting property of neutrons is that they're neutral, so they can go through many materials. It can really look on the insides of a material and not only on the surface. And to do that, we use two properties of the neutrons. Uh, we use small angle neutron scattering. If you have neutrons entering a material, then they will get scattered. And from the scattering pattern, you can calculate back your structure. And the smaller your angles are, the bigger the length scales you are probing. And now, if you would do that for really small angles, you really have to collimate your beam. And if you do that, then you lose all the neutrons. So here we use a clever trick. We use polarized neutrons. And if you have polarized neutrons, the spin of the neutron starts to process in a magnetic field. In more detail, this uh, idea of precession of neutron and magnetic field is something that we have here in a bigger model. Here you have a magnet on a rotating wheel, and this is representing the magnetic moment or the spin of the neutron. Uh, it's rotating like this, and now you can switch on the magnetic field as if the neutron is entering the magnetic field of the sesons. Now the field is in uh, one direction, and the neutron starts to process around this magnetic field. What soon will happen is that we will reverse the magnetic field, it's happening now, and then you get precession the other way around. So this here is a nice model for the Larmor precession that we have of the polarized neutrons in the magnetic field. With this instrument, uh, we have the neutrons coming in from the reactor, and then they enter the LED uh, box you see, and that's a polarization filter, and then the neutrons are turned and they end up in this direction. Uh, if you now put a sample in the middle of the setup, then that will give small angle scattering, and that will disturb your spin echo signal. It will decrease the polarization. And what we have here is the reversal of the fields. Here the fields are in one direction. And here we get a sudden transition in the other direction. And then you get the reversal of the precession. And this is also the position where we can position the samples. And then you go through the polarization filter in the end, after which they are detected. Here you see an example of a measurement. Uh, what you see on the vertical axis, that's the polarization that we measure in the end of the setup. And on the horizontal uh, axis, you see the applied magnetic field that can be converted into a length scale. Here it's going up to five micrometers. And this is a measurement that we did on polystyrene spheres uh, with a diameter of two micrometers as kind of a model system to illustrate the technique. And what you see is that the polarization starting off at 1 for the short length scales and then it starts to decrease and at the diameter of the particles of uh, 2 micrometers it starts to saturate. Uh, so this gives you directly uh, an image of the kind of structure that you have in your specimen that you want to study. One of the applications that we have of this technique is on looking at how you can get the last bits of oil out of the ground. Uh, if you have normal oil, it's very viscous and it's difficult to get it out of the ground. If you now inject water and the surfactant, they get a microemulsion, a little bit like vinaigrette in a salad dressing, and that's much less viscous. And this is one of the applications which we work together with Shell.